So this is form B. Form B goes from the mirror bracket to the tail lights of the truck. And this is all that consists of form B. My mirror bracket is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. My light is properly mounted and secured. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. It's clean and clear, amber in color, and serves as a function of turn signal, four-way flasher, and running light. My steps are properly and securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken, and they are free of foreign objects and debris. My door latches and unlatches properly. And my door hinges in here are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and the door is not sagging. My weather stripping is properly and securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My def cap is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking, and is secured with a safety strap. My fuel cap is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking, and it has a safety chain on the inside that secures it. And then you would come around back here. My fuel tank is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My fuel tank straps are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. And then this part is part of coupling and form B. So regardless, if you have form A, B, or C, you have to do this part. But also, if you have form B, you're going to do it anyway because it's also a part of coupling. My catwalk is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is free of foreign objects and debris. My steps are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and they are free of foreign objects and debris. My frame is properly and securely mounted. It's not bent, cracked, or broken, and it's free of illegal welds and drill holes. My cross member is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is also free of illegal welds and drill holes. And if you do forget that, there is a cheat sheet on the back of the inside of the frame right there. You see that sticker. All right, over here, my splash guard is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. My splash guard mount is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. My torque arm is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. My leaf spring mount is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. My leaf spring is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and there are no signs of shifting. Signs of shifting would be uneven leaves. And at this point, you're gonna wanna hit your unique items if you go around the truck. If you don't wanna go around the truck, you can still get them from here. My drive shaft is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. And my universal joints here are properly and securely mounted. They're properly greased and they are not bent, cracked, or broken and they are free of foreign objects and debris. My exhaust is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. It's free of any severe dents and it is not leaking. Signs of leaking would be soot buildup and rust around the clamps on the exhaust. Now right here is my dual brake chamber. My dual brake chamber is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. My air lines going to my brake chamber are properly and securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they are not leaking. Now back here behind this bracket is the push rod. My push rod is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken. And then right here's my slack adjuster. My slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it does not have more than one inch of play. The way I would check that would be chalk the wheels, release the brakes, and pull on it, and it shouldn't move more than one inch. My U-bolts are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and they are secured to the leaf spring with locking nuts. And then back here, my upper and lower shock mounts are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. My shock absorber is properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and, they, and it is not leaking. If it was leaking, it'd be leaking right under that dust cover. 
My upper and lower airbag mounts are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and they are not leaking. My airbag is properly and securely mounted. It does not have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it is not leaking. Inside here, my brake liners are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and they have more than a quarter inch of material, and they are free of dirt, oil, and grease. My brake drum is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, has no cracks more than half the width, and it is also free of dirt, oil, and grease. And then you would come out here and do this tire. My inner and outer bead of the tire is properly and securely seated to the bead of the wheel. My bud spacing is properly and securely uh, in place. It is free of foreign objects and debris, and my tires are not rubbing, which could cause a fire. My tire is wearing evenly. It has more than two thirty seconds of tread depth, and the way I would check that would be with a tire tread depth gauge. The tire also has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, or chunking. My wheel, oh, and this can be a recap, and it can have patches and plugs also. My wheel is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is free of illegal welds, and it is not loose. Signs of a loose wheel would be rust streaks. My valve stem is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. And this is also where I would check my tire air pressure with a tire air pressure gauge, and it should be between 95 to 105 PSI. My lug nuts are all present and tight. They are not bent, cracked, or broken, and they are properly mounted and secured. Signs of a loose lug nut would be uh, shiny threads and shiny spots on the wheel. My axle is properly and securely mounted. It is not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is not leaking. All hardware is tight, and if it was leaking, it'd be leaking right behind this plate. And then you would say, I would do this tire the same as I did this one, and this axle, same as this axle. Now if you come around to the back, my mud flap hangers are properly and securely mounted. They are not bent, cracked, or broken. My mud flaps are properly mounted and secured. They're not cut, torn, or uh, have abrasions and they are within eight inches of the ground. My DOT reflective tape is properly and securely mounted. It is not cut, torn, or faded, and it is red and white in color, and it is clean and clear. My tail lights are properly and securely mounted. They're not bent, cracked, or broken. They're clean and clear, and uh, properly mounted and secured. They're red in color, and they serve as a function of brake light, turn signal, four-way flasher, running light, and have a built-in reverse light that is white in color. And then once you finish any of these forms, you would immediately go to do your coupling, interior, and air brake test. And this concludes form B.